Hello, everyone. Hi, my lovelies. Hello. <laughs> oh, my God. It's your girl, Ameze, and I'm live on Insta Live. How is everyone doing? I'm so excited to be um, here talking to you guys. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, yes, I already see uh, Abia You Are. It's on. Abia You Are is the young lady I'm actually going to be premiering with today um, because she has a story to tell. But before we get to that, I just want to give you, like, you know, I'm going to go into some kind of preamble and just tell you what Breaking Limits is. What is Breaking Limits? Breaking Limits is an empowerment series started by me and is premiering today. And this is the Christmas editions for those of you wondering why I have this on, because it's um, it's around Christmas time. OK, and. Um, and I came about the series because I get letters from young women and not so young. It's not really about age. It's just growing up and existing as a female. Um, a lot of people like to say it's a man's world. I say that too from time to time. But you know what? It can be everybody's world, okay? It doesn't have to be a man's world. Hello, everyone. Oh, my God. I have all these lovely people here. Oh, I love you guys. I love you. Thank you so much. Um, so, like I was saying, it's an empowerment series for women, okay? And I can tell you the men folk around us and with us can also learn from some of the things that we go through. So we are going to be inspiring. We're going to be motivating people. And we're also going to um, ruffle some feathers, whether you like it or not. That is bound to happen. So I'm going to, um, again, I have to have my glasses on. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to acknowledge, oh my God, thank you. Um, um, I have... OJ Carter, thank you. Irene, hello, my love. How are you? Esther, how are you? Oh, my darlings, how are you? Dobilek, hello, love. Pelumi, Adebola, I love you. Thank you for your support. I remember you even on my YouTube page, um, my YouTube channel, uh, AMZ TV House. So for those of you who don't know, I also have a YouTube um, channel. And uh, boy, Gary Richards, thank you so much. I'm waving back at you. Thank you, guys. Um, again, today I'm going to have, um, Esther says she's good, wonderful. Um, thank you. Thank you, Pelumi. Um, so, yeah, we are going to be talking about empowering women. That's what this series is about. You know, it's an empower empowering empowerment series i can't get my words out because i'm so excited to see you guys this is um my first time actually doing um insta live so hopefully everything goes well so thumbs up if you're agreeing with me um so um like i was saying today um uh we're going to bring in a bs a beer you are my uh my my darling from Edo State, in case some of you don't know where I'm from. Yes, I'm from Edo State. It's bill. And then for those who understand what I'm saying, go ahead and put the perfect response there. Thumbs up, thumbs up to you too. So um <laughs> okay. Oh, that is so lovely. So, um, Abia Yua is a, a young lady, um, youngish, <laughs> beautiful young woman. And um, I decided to premiere this Insta Life uh, Breaking Limits with her story because um, it's a it kind of, it's, it's a nice footstool to jump off, meaning she's going to share with us growing up in a violent house because her dad was very very violent amy's botanics wonderful Ogbe, Ogbe that's my bini sister there wonderful indeed indeed thank you thank you so much yes that's how we bini's greet around this time so um and then she's going to share with us. It's a very painful story because um, she shared it with me. 
and um, she's not the only one. There are a lot of people who've shared stuff with me and um, I decided to pick hers as the first story that I want to go with because again, I think it kind of puts things in perspective for us growing up a female. Now, not everyone grew up in a violent or an abusive household, but she did and I wanted to feature her. So, um, Abia, you are, if you're ready to come on, I would like you to come on so we can talk about your unique experience. Um, it's, it's, um, it's interesting because I chose this wonderful lady because, um, she was very passionate. She was very passionate and sharing her story with her was very, very painful. And, um, there is another lady who also grew up with an abusive father and um she said um i'm going to bring her on hers is we're not there yet but we're going to get there abusive in different levels and i'm sure for those of you here you probably know what i'm already thinking you know abusive on many levels so abies i see you say you're ready however i'm going to need you to um you have to request to come on so I can bring you on, so they can see your beautiful face. Abiyua speaks French. She's a French lady now. Hello, PixJ, thank you for coming. Dutch Rams, thank you for coming. Queen Asake, if I'm not pronouncing your handle well, that is fine. You know, later on, just let me know how um, to pronounce this because I, I love to pronounce people's names well. So, yes, Abiyua, again, before I bring her on, she has Irene, darling, how are you? It's great to see you here. So, um, without further ado, let me go ahead and just bring her on. Hello, Abies. Okay, she's going to be on very shortly. She's connecting right now. <laughs> Hello, my love. Hello. Hi. Hello. Merry Christmas, everyone. Nice. And a happy new year in advance. Yeah. Oh, mommy, you look great. You're so beautiful. I didn't want to write everything, but I know I'm going to take the opportunity. Oh, you're so beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you, ma. Thank you. It's an honor. Oh, my God. <laughs> thank you, ma. It's, um, I was just telling all the others um, yes. that you're going to be um telling us your story um growing up as a female how painful it was so let's yeah. you know um go ahead and do that how what was painful about your childhood because what we're talking about is growing up as a girl because you felt that the abuse you suffered was because mm. you're right so tell us what, what does that mean why why are you saying that but what was painful about my childhood was one I was not appreciated as a female anyway. I mm. wasn't appreciated by my father that gave birth to me, that will always tell me because I was a female that she he hasn't he doesn't have any child any for now. Mm. He would tell it in my face that anyway, and whenever they have misunderstanding with my mother, he will want to reach to me also, you know, the hatred like I don't have any child anymore. I've not given birth because we were female, you know. We had we were seven in numbers, six girls and one one boy. So the personal thing is that my own father, I I until he died anyway, when I traveled out of Nigeria, I, I never believed he was my father. That is a painful thing. Another painful thing was is this man really my father? Because you see the hatred on his face. Hmm. So each time I go ask my mother, is this my father? Are you sure this is my father? And my mother will say, stop asking those questions. He's your father. You know, African mother anyway. Hmm. Hmm. The painful thing that my father made me understand that he, 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 lo he didn't love me at then. That I wasn't important at then to him. Interesting. So yeah. wasn't just, was it physical? Like would he, when I say, so mentally he was definitely abusing you, making you feel second class, you know? Yes. Men Less privileged in the society, in the family, yeah. in his life. Yeah. Like um, he had all these six girls and to him, he didn't believe that he had children. 
And no. Yes, exactly. Six times. Exactly. Gone through. Mm -hmm. And in his mind, in his belief, eh, those are not children. As long as they're yeah. children. Because exactly. it's a male child. Yes. It's very sad. So, um, and he will say it to your face. That's what, that's what you're saying. He, will he, say said it to me. he said it to my face several times. And the last one, he said it to my face. I decided to quit Nigeria, not even home this time. Because at 10 years, I was already dreaming of running away from home. But I didn't have the courage because of the violence between my mother and both of them. I didn't have the courage. But when I became 19 years, he said it to my face. And that is where I decided to quit. Hmm. Not to leave Nigeria, not to live at those states or to go stay with anybody or with my grandparents, which I usually do before. But this time I decided to quit Nigeria to go make something better out of my life. 